there have been 851 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. Our mission? For every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. Today we are debuting a new Doctor, it's Jodie Whittaker arriving on Say Something Nice with the Timeless Children. A bit of housekeeping before we get into this episode, uh, obviously this whole process is going to take me a few years, there's going to be more episodes of Doctor Who, how do I, <laughs> how, where do I put the new episodes? Here's what I've decided, Series 12 has gone out early 2020 and Say Something Nice is still kind of in its infancy, like I know I've done over 40 episodes but there are now 861 episodes of Doctor Who and what I'm thinking is as new episodes come through next year, the year after, I will put them on the playlist on YouTube in the correct order where they go, uh, but I will then say they fit in between episode 34, which of this is the new episode 34, and 35, I'll make it 34A. <laughs> Just say a future episode is the 10th lowest rated episode of Doctor Who, I don't have to adjust the number on every single video that comes afterwards. That's my main reasoning here. But without any further ado, let's get into The Timeless Children. The Timeless Children got 4.694 million viewers because doing ratings to three decimal places is something we do now. I'm sticking to the consolidated seven day figure because that is how all the other new series episodes are measured and so I feel that provides a fairer representation. Now, in terms of The Timeless Children, it was a controversial episode <laughs> um, and a bit of a marmite one, and I have to respect it for that. The moment I'm choosing, look, I was tempted to go with the Doctor breaking out of the Matrix, but as you know, I don't always like to do the obvious thing. So while it does relate to that, the nice thing I'm choosing here is the sheer audacity of the Morbius Doctors. <laughs> now for those of you who don't know about the Morbius Doctors, in 1976 there was a Doctor Who story, the Doctor had to face another Time Lord who was a brain in a jar and later in a, a cobbled together body, that part's not important, called Morbius and they do this psychic battle and we see these faces appear that aren't Doctors we've seen before. And over the years, fans have said, well, that means there's Doctors before William Hartnell, or that they're actually the faces of Morbius, but that is not what the dialogue implies. And the production team did intend for these to be prior Doctors, prior to William Hartnell. Who were these people? They were the production team. <laughs> they were director Christopher Barry and Douglas Camfield, Graham Harper, a production assistant who later became a director, producer Philip Hinchcliffe, Robert Holmes, uh, the designer George uh, Galeccio. All these guys from the production team got dressed up in period costume to pretend to be earlier Doctors in kind of a little easter egg. And Chris Chibnall then writes a season finale <laughs> to explain <laughs> this this continuity thing to set in stone. Yes, these are earlier doctors. Now, I I love the idea that the doctor is effectively immortal and has had more lives than we can know. It kind of harks back to Clara in a way, splitting herself throughout the time stream and drawing the doctor and Clara closer together in that way. I didn't always like what they did with Clara's character, but I feel there's echoes of that here. It's one of the most bonkers things Doctor Who has ever done. Whether it really changes anything that the Doctor, instead of being an alien from another world, is an alien from another place that we didn't think the Doctor was from. As my friend Nathan says, is, is that really important? Maybe, maybe not. But I just love how <laughs> audacious this is. The sheer audacity of Chris Chibnall to hinge a plot on a few seconds of the brain of Morbius from 1976 in this space year 2020. That's what Doctor Who's about for me. It is about being audacious and not predictable and never boring and always exciting and sometimes annoying, 
but completely and utterly out there and audacious, and that is something really nice about the Timeless Children. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow I will be uploading my review of World War 3 as I continue looking back on Christopher Eccleston's series as the Doctor 15 years from the anniversary of its broadcast. I will be back with more Say Something Nice next week. <laughs> I will be slotting this one into the playlist where it belongs because this is now the lowest rated episode of Doctor Who's new incarnation. New, it's been around for 15 years now. Slightly disappointing that the ratings have dropped, but so long as we can still enjoy it, that's the main thing. Until I see you in a new video, thank you so much for watching, keep yourself safe, and remember to wash your hands. <laughs>